Alright, here we are, the sexy brutal. We're in the basement, and it looks like we're about to, I mean, literally, get to the bottom of this. I believe we just opened secret tree door. So I don't know what to expect inside there. The basement. We, uh, we turned on one power cable, then a second power cable, and then... Number tree. Let's see if I remember where to go, because it's been a while since I've actually played this, and this place kind of kept going. Okay. Got it. That's interesting, said an otaku. Driving cars for the sake of review, that was pretty rad. Alright, here we go. Mysterious tree door. We're apparently gonna see something serious business in here. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Whoa. So he's the blood woman? Or maybe not. Maybe that's just like awful and that's it? <laughs> My god. What has he done to you? No. Right. Whoa! This isn't that kind of game! This. Is this? Oh. Skull Man. Come to think of it, I haven't seen you in a while. Well, well, this is utterly tiresome. I mean, well done and so forth, you found my secret, etc, etc. I know it must look cruel, chaining what appears to be a madman up in a dungeon. Using these mirrors to show him the guests being murdered over and over again. Tormenting him until his tears of sorrow and rage fill the tank that is his prison. But it's all very necessary, you see. Yes, I can see how you look at me, but... Boone, take this! Get out of here! No, no, I rather think not. Yes, that's better. I control every part of this world. Toki wo sabore! This creature, however, is what you might consider the battery... He is my power source. The two of you were the only aspects outside my grasp. But now I think it's time to end this. Not with a bang or a fanfare, but with a whimper. No. But with a simple snap of my... What? <clears throat> How dare? Go. Sapphire tear ring? I will check inventory for details. Oh, hey, it's Blood Rain for the Nintendo GameCube. Run, Boone! This is very much not over. Ho! Oh! The King in Red. This game. What a twist! I gotta learn how to use an old man to power my time travel. Well, that's one way to start a, a stream. And I just have this. A blue tear-shaped ring given to you by the bloodied girl. Cool. Where can I use it? Perhaps over here. Uh, no? Uh, okay. You think it's useful for the tree, actually? Again, it's been a while since I've streamed, so... Where's the tree? It's been a little while. <laughs> yeah, Vakafon. Ooh, there's a show at seven. I'm sure it'll be a shocking performance. Oh, and the door's locked? Hello. No, it was the other way, wasn't it? 
I don't think the sapphire tear ring is gonna help me with the tree, but I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch a little bit for this. Was this it? Hey, wait. Nothing happens. Do I need to regrow the tree? Wait. Perfection. Uh, Dragon Ace, I believe we're stuck in the basement. I can check now that that plot scene triggered, though. Right, playing card room. Now I gotta look for a place where I can use a sapphire tear ring. Maybe on creep. Nope. Not on creepy patient. You know, I probably could just use this to open the tree door or something. All the power cables are still glowing. Let's see what it says, though. The statue glows with an ugly malevolence, but is sealed tightly shut once again. And there's just no item option here. Maybe I do go upstairs. I don't know. Or maybe I... Like, I hope I don't need to do that tree reset thing. I get the feeling that part's over. Oh yeah, the roulette ball. I don't think I'm gonna actually need that. Oh yeah, that was cool, but no. Yeah, I really get the feeling I don't need to go in any of these doors anymore. Actually, no, you, you know what? Okay. Just checking for item prompts. The booster's tower room. This was also a cool room, but yeah, we're, we're done here. Heavens, would you look at the time? Already four-ish. I guess I'm just out. There were other places to go though. Right, we got this crossroads, and, uh... This just goes back to, uh... Yeah, Frankenstein's lab over here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's bugging me with those mirrors. You know there's something with those mirrors. Oh yeah, Senator Taku, yeah, the, the car dealer asks insurers, we just paid like an actual insurance bill. been in here before? Yeah, I guess I have. Alright. Right, I'm going all the way out this way. Alright. It's not going to be too painful to reset time again. I just have no clue what this ring is going to be for. There's a ladder out. What? Okay, that was quite the loading time for just going into this room. And this should be the end, right? Another ladder, but the trap door is shut. So I guess I could get in there via the uh, the big show, the escape. This is where the show starts and people die. I guess the electricity is gonna flicker for a little bit.
That's right, I could just go to the bar. I forgot, I could just leave. Yeah, I'm out. But what the hell do I do? Like, what do I do? Dare I even use the clock? Like, what, like, what do I do? It's a blue tear-shaped ring. Are there doors I haven't been in yet? There probably are, because this game just is endless with its rooms. Is it in, like, the gardens? Do I need to sneak into the gardens? I mean, maybe I will just do this right now. I'll let the animation in. No, I did. I'll reset the day. I don't know. Yeah, is this when we go out uh, outside? Like, eh, maybe? I don't know. I have a sapphire tear ring. Like, I don't freaking know. Like, I don't have the faintest idea where I'm going to use this. Uh, like, my big guess was going to be the mirrors, but clearly that didn't pan out. Oh, there was a clock right here. Alright, whatever. Ah, that's right, I can't manipulate objects. I gotta wait for these people to leave. To get outside, I have to break the glass. In the meantime, I guess I'll just chill. And this is just the no sorry, not this way door. So I don't know. Oh good, I actually caught them when they're leaving. That's that's good. But at this point I don't have the vaguest idea of where to go. Unless I really need to start saving everybody. I actually get the feeling I'm just straight up going the wrong way, but I, like, eh. The thing is, the clock doesn't show anybody who's dying. Like, I haven't found a victim yet. That's my big problem. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't know, but I might have some kind of idea. But while I'm here, I'll check outside. What? Oh. I can do the remember thing, I guess. Did that help me at all? Alright, well. Oh, this actually is the right way. Wow! Nailed it. It's reacting to the Marquis signet ring. Yes, yeah, so the Marquis's been trapped this whole time. That was the Marquis. Alright, well, I'm glad I figured this out sometime today. Yo! Oh, I need to wind this. It's right. And there's another roulette. What the hell is going on? There's only one way to go, too. This game's freaking crazy. So his house is the sexy brutal but twisted? Is this his memory? Like what? There, I'll I'll save inside the burning house. Come to think of it. What if I reset time when I'm here? This game is freaking crazy, man. So I guess the marquee is the last. If I give on, this is fine. <laughs> so I guess the marquee is the last person I need to save, which might undo everything. Whoa. Um, wh what does this mean? 
What is this gonna mean? Yeah, no map, of course. So what happens if I go into the house in the house? This game's playing with me. Yes, I don't know, We're burning down the house. My house. It's actually pretty pleasant out here, though. Let's just stay out here, despite the scary music. I can just open it. Oh. Into the fire. Lafcadio. So she must be the bloody uh, woman. It's been such a long time. Would you talk to Lucas? Something seems to be troubling him. He's always looked up to you, you know? I know he teases you dreadfully about your lifestyle. But he respects you enormously. I'm starting to wonder, like, am I the Marquis? More than anyone else I know. I believe he's always wanted to be more like you. Perhaps when he's a little older. Or more mature, I should say. Oh, you have our ring! Can I see? Ruby heart ring. I remember you presenting it to us when you married us. Wait, us? You must take it. Lucas will be missing it, I'm sure. Tell him I just needed a rest. This little guy is heavy. So, okay, so I guess married her after she was pregnant, maybe? I hope he won't be mad that I'm missing the party. I know he loves the mansion, but this is all we've ever really needed. This right here. This is our perfect little world. Please, tell him I'll wait for him, won't you? I'll be right here, whenever he is ready. That was Eleanor, the Marquis's wife. Yeah, but she was talking to me, and aren't you her? Maybe not. She is always here, safe in this place. You've seen some of the truth now. The mansion was on fire. We, the guests died. It should have ended there, but that creature in the golden mask, somehow he brought them all back, torturing us over and over. I try to help them, try to find some peace in all this pain. He is so, so strong. But with that ring, I believe you could stop him. There is a secret place. My uncle, I mean Sixpence, was so close. Take that ring to the room where Orum died. It will unlock the path. Eleanor left her mask for you. Take it. There it is! Mirror Walk. Eleanor was the life and soul that connected the people and places in the Sexy Brutale. Her mask allows you to travel by stepping into the mirrors placed throughout the mansion. You can now walk through any mirror in the Sexy Brutale. The movements of all staff and guests have also been revealed to you on the map. So now I, okay, now I just have everything if I, as if I had observed everything. Clever. Now I just gotta see where the mirrors were. She always tried so hard to see the best in people, but it's what you see that will matter. Now look into the mirror. Oh, it's the first Matrix movie. Man, this game is plot. 
I'm just back. I have never seen inside that place, you know. I'm not sure whether to rage impotently or just be quietly glad. Anyway. I've watched you, laughed Cadio. Your arrival was somewhat unexpected. All these years, you've done your dutiful loop, dying, along with six pence in the chapel. Then all of a sudden, one day, you're running around, ruining everything. It took me a little while to figure it out, and then, of course, I knew that bloodied creature had to be involved. I'm sure she has spun all the tales about me and what's happening here. I'm sure they have left out some rather important information. I will be utterly candid with you now, Boone. I could end this right now. I could end you. I have the power! Perhaps she is right, and I am a monster. But we might all be monsters here. I want you to see. To understand. Come with me. Huh. I guess we'll just spin this roulette ball and hang out. Here we are. Now the first question is, am I really a murderer? Oh, props for that organ playing. And to that, the answer is most assuredly yes. You see this man here, dear Reginald. I killed him, stone dead. It wasn't my finger that pulled the trigger, but it was my command. Family as well, you know. <clears throat> oh, he just leaves me here. The staff member looks grimly dispassionate. He is doing his job without malice or pleasure. Well, the other staff members certainly seem to be emotionally involved. Sixpence is frozen perfectly in time. His face shows disbelief and agony. This is crazy. No map. Whoa, hold on. Oh, it's just Eleanor, just mirror mask. Yeah, alright. But hang on, there's more. The gardens. The Marquis was an indifferent gardener, but Eleanor loved the mansion grounds, and under her care they flourished. The fountain and statues were carved from a single block of marble, imported at phenomenal expense, and worked on day and night by Trinity for almost a full year. The blind woman, wow. The full extent of the mansion grounds extends far beyond what can be seen from the terrace. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, let's... Yeah, married us might mean perform the wedding, as opposed to actually got married to them. Yeah, good call. Ah, the heart of the casino, our dear friend Clay. In this scenario, I had him die from a shot of venom from the same spider, which would go on to devour his precious wife. He did like a drink, Clay. Uh, he did like a drink, Clay, but never when he was working, you know. can't go anywhere else. The poison has burned the flesh around Clay's mouth down to the bone. It was a horrific way to die. I did not know about that. There is almost a sense of sadness in the lifeless mechanical eyes of Sixpence's prototype robot. This freaking game, man. All the butterflies. So fitting. She was so beautiful, Trinity. The Moth by Moonlight. It was what Clay called her. She loved that name. A moth. So I thought it very fitting for her to be eaten by my giant spider. Which I have. I never had one, you know. I'm sure nothing could possibly grow that big, but by gods I wish they did. I would have kept it in a room just like this one. So this is like a fantasy scenario? Creature from a nightmare, uh, yeah. You cannot imagine the terror she must have felt. Bound in thread and waiting for the end? No kidding. The spider made that last. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
This one was rather fantastical. When we found that fish, I did so want to believe the stories. A voodoo fish! I rather suspect it was just a guppy with some particularly bright colors. The man who sold it to me must have thought I was the most gullible person under the sun. But I wasn't paying for the fish, I was paying for the story. Eleanor called me a fool, but she did love to watch him in his tank. Best fortune I ever spent. I'd like to say that Willow would have ha would never have hanged herself, but then a long time ago I stopped even trying to pretend I could understand what another person might do. <laughs> My god. Willow's face is contorted in agony. At one point you thought this creature held the answers, but he is just a fiction. A boogeyman. Yeah, but I mean, talk about truth being stranger than fiction. Miss Tequila Bell, what a voice. She was a living work of art. I murdered her with the notes of a song, and then had my staff throw her body down a garbage chute. I mean, I, I know, that wasn't okay. Well. The staff member appears to be taking a certain amount of pride in the carnage she has created. Yeah, yeah. So the staff members do have varying degrees of emotion. Wait a minute. Stained glass window is smashed to pieces. Yup. Tequila. Bleeding to death from deep lacerations lacerations all over her body. Ho ho ho. Grayson. Red. It really wasn't a party until those two got there. Grayson really is such a complete scoundrel, but my god, he's fun. Or he was, at least. Red really would have done anything for him. I'm almost certain that it would be so much more painful if Grayson had gone second and Red had to watch him die first. Yes. Perhaps I'll change this one. Oh my god. What kind of maniac imagines torturing a man in this way? Eh? He gave his own life to try to save Grayson. Ah! Orem. I smelted him down in a furnace, like a big gold bar. My mansion had many strange and wonderful creations, but a lift that doubles in an incinerator that would have been something. I like to think that if Aurum were able to choose how he went, then perhaps he would have chosen something like this. Though in a way, he almost did. Uh, Grayson, is that a nod to Batman? I, I, I doubt it. It's just like, they got a color scheme going here. Fire blasts from the furnace. There's a small hope that his heart gave out before he burned to death. Ugh. Thanos, what a mind to waste. It wasn't just his this mansion that he built, you know. There are similar works of architectural genius all over the country. He was a grouchy and often tiresome old man, but that mind was like a cracked diamond. At least his works will live on. Well, Boone, you have heard my confession. As I said, I am a murderer. This is not a brag or a boast. I'm not good or clever for it. I'm sinful and gross. I have killed everyone in this mansion, but there is one person who didn't die. Oh yeah? This beautiful golden elevator is the connection between the horror upstairs and the madness down here. Thanos' body is charred to a crisp. The furnace cooked him through. Yeah. One man who survived the events of the day here. Who woke up in a broken body with a broken mind. They put a mask on his face and a machine forced him to breathe until he was fit to stand.
If what the man in the gold mask says is true, then the mask is a breathing aid? Who are the staff here? A man who served his time, but time that could never be enough. Whoever was in this cell, they must have been here for years upon years for a tree to grow this large. A man who lived when all the others did not. I would like you to meet that man, Boone. I would like you to meet him and then decide if this day should end. Interesting, Dragon Ace. Could it be the baby? The crypt is marked Lucas. Mm-hmm. It is empty. Eleanor, you know somehow... You know somehow that the grave is real. She is here. Oh, and time's running out, too. Yeah, this door I can never open. The answer will be behind these doors. Come and find me there. She and I will be waiting for you. So I was told to come here anyway, that's where Orum died, but man, this is coming to a, to a head here. Good thing I saved upstairs. Although I am in the burning mansion, is that gonna matter? No, it just puts me here. So I'm not far from it. Alright, the left. Yeah, it's just next door. But I can bounce through mirrors. When am I going to need to use that? And for real, what does that ability really do for me? Like, have I discovered anything? Whoa! Oh no, okay, I, I still cannot interact. For a second I was like, another guy's in the room. Can I interact with him? But no, I cannot. Really? He's going in. The door is reacting to the Marquis' signet ring. The blue flames die down. Oh my god, so I have carte blanche on the mansion. I, I can probably go wherever I want. That, that raises possibilities. There's nothing this way it looks like. Oh man. End game clock maybe? 7-0 clubs. Well, again, what does knowledge of this place flooding your mind do? Like, what does that ever do for me? A heavy marble dresser. Behind it is a painting of sunflowers with human eyes. And yeah, you can kind of see it. So the employees in the next room. So... Yeah. And this, I believe, is a dead end. There's, uh, there's another door out here, but this otherwise goes nowhere. A girl with a single earring and a smile that's too wide. Holding what is possibly a weasel. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is where we started the game. Old but flawlessly crafted, the Bible is on the table nearby. This music, my god. The fire is roaring. Its intensity causes your heart to race. Books on a card sharpening, including a signed first edition by Clay Rockridge. Who's that guy? Yeah, the- oh, that's it. 
Yeah, this is the very beginning of the game where I had to get the blank and then save that guy's life, right? Sixpence? And he's dead. Archimboldo, someone's playfully copying as a joke. A girl pouring wine or blood. Beautifully done, but unsettling. Cram of books on fish. Delicate glass hookah pipe. Smells sweet and smoky. I'm gonna hit up the other side. Blank cartridge, right, right. Running cost of the casino, covered in dust. Contents of the safe are scattered, nothing valuable to be seen. Sword on the wall, as tall as a man, looks razor sharp. I really don't get that ability. Oh, goodness gracious me, I could talk to a ghost. That I've never been able to do. Oh, I got his invitation at long last. That's actually pretty great. The furnace elevator. At the center of the mansion is a glorious statue carved in the shape of a phoenix. It is one of the crowning glories of the mansion, a marvel of vision and art and engineering. The statue was originally an enormous furnace that warmed the mansion before the entire heating system was redesigned and improved by Thanos. The marquee also included a secret in the statue, however shared only with a very select few. It conceals an elevator leading down into sections of the basement kept hidden from prying eyes. So secret, in fact, that the original safety codes to activate the elevator were changed, so not even Thanos knew the true combination. Ooh. Uh, did the tutorial give me knowledge of what to do with the knowledge flooding in my mind? I think it might have, but I don't remember how, like useful it was. Yeah, it'll reveal secrets, but like, eh? The chapel. Oh boy. Okay. The smoking room. Who knows what schemes were hatched here in the smoky haze of the Marquis's most personal inner sanctum? What greatness was planned? What madness was plotted? Lucas and his uncle-in-law, Sixpence, would often sit together here, long into the evening, discussing the future for their families. What ambitions did these two discuss? What dreams did they dare realize together? The places where events occur, both tragedies and triumphs, are often recorded, but what are the humble spaces where the ideas first take seed? Safe room. The Marquis had many secrets and many expenses. An enormous amount of effort went into making the running of the mansion appear effortless, but none of it came without cost. This room was where the unofficial versions of official documents were kept. A beauty parlor for accounts where numbers were massaged and rules were relaxed. Grayson Grayson himself constructed the safe in this room. Utterly uncrackable to anyone without the code, it kept the truth at the heart of the affluent seeming mansion, hidden away from prying eyes. The most nondescript of nondescript rooms. Please relax and take the weight off. There really is nothing of note to take note of here. <laughs> nothing of note to take note of. Most people would likely have completely forgotten ever having seen this room, if they ever did even see it in the first place. Would you even recognize it from this angle? Perhaps you got a peek, just a glimpse of a hint, once before, long ago. Does it feel like a lifetime has passed since then? For some, it certainly does. The room itself may not be important or noteworthy, but perhaps we should see if what's the other side jogs our memories. Whoa, that's an actual hint. And now for Sixpence. He's a genius clockmaker and mechanic who was originally commissioned to create the extravagant timepieces featured throughout the mansion. On one visit, he brought his niece along to help with a particularly challenging piece. After the Marquis met her, the rate of Sixpence's invitations to the mansion increased dramatically over the years of events that followed the two men became extremely close. But Reginald could be somewhat blind to the intentions and emotions of others. He has become distraught that one of the Marquis's projects, that Sixpence helped with, may have a darker and more dangerous aim than he imagined. You think? So we talk at last. Oh, good call, Fakafan. Yeah, the mask might actually unlock the room explanations. I hadn't thought about that. It's been a long road for you. All to come back here. Take this. And I'll play on. Oh, alright, well. 
He was close all along, you know. Master, Mr. Sixpence, that is. Just got a bit mixed up. This place does that to you. <laughs> Yo. Another brochure? The basement? The prison. A prison here? In the heart of the mansion? If you were to touch the walls, you would feel hundreds, thousands of tally marks. Counting days, months, years. There is a tree growing from the cracks in the floor. How long would it take for the little sapling to become fully grown? How many years? Well, where do I go from here? Is there anywhere to go? Or do I just reset and save the guy's life? Maybe I'll do just that. I'll get that blank cartridge and try saving the guy one more time. I don't know if the game will really let that slide. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, the blind cartridge was, like, next door, right? Oh, wait, yeah, that safe was locked, right? But I can crack it. I haven't been able to do that before. Oh, I get an invitation, that's what that was. That's kind of funny, actually. Grayson Grayson. He was bluntly an uncommonly good common thief in his youth. He was involved in several fairly high profile burglaries, but was eventually caught when his swagger outgrew sense, as Grayson puts it. After his stay in prison, voluntary, I could have always picked the lock. The Marquis con contacted Grayson and requested that he provide security for the mansion. Grayson did so in spades, kickstarting his security business at the same time. The Marquis liked to tease Grayson about his past and would purchase items of great value to hide in the mansion, including, it seems, the treasure that Grayson was arrested for going after in the first place. That egg. Oh boy. So where's that blank cartridge? I already forgot. Wow, for real though, where was it? Did I miss something? Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I never went up there. You know what? No, I'm gonna restart one more time and just make my way up there really quickly, if I can get away with it. I don't know if I need to actually do this, but I'm, I'm curious. Uh, yeah, if I can get away with this. Oh, that's what this was. Right, it was the heaven and hell staircase. And this is where that employee comes from, I guess. I say. Okay, but what do I do from here? And where was that damn blank cartridge? There's the... Aha! Alright, yeah, that's exactly what that mask does. It's totally the brochure thing. Alright. The hunting room. A hunter in his misguided youth, the Marquis came to abhor the concept as he matured. He kept his trophies as a reminder of the man he no longer wished to be, feeling guilt and sorrow whenever he looked upon them. In this way, he was able to remind himself of who he had been, and in turn, who he never wanted to become again. His wife discouraged him from visiting this room, not wanting him to cause himself unnecessary suffering, but exposing himself to the grief and pain was the only thing he believed gave so many unnecessary deaths at his hand any meaning. 
Okay. A good call, uh, Bakafania, that would explain the, uh, the theme of fire, like, on my, uh, on the mask, because the mansion burned down. Where is that blank cartridge, though? I could, wasn't it in the safe or something? Like, yeah, that there's taken the safe, but... Or was the blank cartridge actually in the chapel? No, so, like, where was it? This is really bugging me. Like, how do I miss that? Ah, crap. I don't see it, buddy. Unless Grayson left it behind. That's what it was. Okay. Let's see what happens if I save his life, or if the game's gonna call me out on it. Yeah, now she comes in and says, no, 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 not this time. There's more to the chapel than I knew. Look for where you can see to use your powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So is there a mirror around here? Rummage around the safe? Yeah, oh yeah, Dragon Ace. Yeah, yeah, Grayson. Check the safe and let the, the, the blank cartridge. So yeah, look around the chapel and see if there's stuff I could futz around with, I guess. So no saving sixpence. Not that it matters. Yeah, so, like, is there a mirror around here? You'd think that, like, there would be. Or other things that I can use my powers on. Yeah, you know what? I think there was one room I didn't quite get right. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I'll do the safe again. Because what if there was something past the invitation? Because it does say into grave with GG. So Grayson, Grayson. I didn't read that the first time. But now that I've properly picked it. Nothing more of interest. Okay. How strange. Empty with a faint cloying smell of wine. Communion wafer crumbs. Yeah, this is not doing me any favors. And I'm not seeing any mirrors or anything, like... She said there's more to the chapel than we thought, but, like, I'm not seeing anything. Unless I have to wait for the guy to get assassinated. stone steps. Damn it. What? I should have brought the mop. Ugh. This freaking guy. Although, come to think of it. Yeah, it does look like he was messing with the box. It's not here. Yeah. It has to be. So maybe I do have to wait for this. You promised me, damn it. So this guy also rummaged through stuff, but then I guess he gets shot. What were you looking for? Lucas, what have you done? Ah. <clears throat> yeah, this is where he gets shot. He don't, you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, and then he's just like, no, whatever, man, I'm gonna shoot you. Break the stained glass in the chapel? Good call, that's an interesting thought. Yeah, maybe I'll try that, although I'll search his body. 
I don't know if I was allowed to do that, but I can give that a shot. That certainly is glass. On the plus side, the gun still works. Hey. In a way, you're lucky, sir. Plan B was going to be beating to death with a candlestick. Woof. That would have been exhausting for both of us. So everyone wins, really. Jeez, I forgot how callous these guys were. Yeah, I'll try breaking the glass. I'll do it. I'll try doing it now and then see if I have to reset time. No, you called it. So I probably have to do it and have this guy blown out of the window. But something happened anyway. Well found, Boone. More like well found Dragon Ace. Please, come join me. Oh. Uh, okay. And after all this time, I still haven't even found the victim I need to save. Oh. I cannot control you. I cannot make you part of my world. Not truly. But perhaps once you see, you will decide for yourself whether or not this world is the right one for us. This is Lucas Bonds, the Marquis of the Sexy Brutal. Lucas. My Lucas. I have brought us all here to judge this man. Or rather, to sentence him. His guilt is not in question. You don't understand, please. He is a good man. We shall see. Boone, watch carefully. There's time. Still plenty of time. It's Sixpence's calculations, after all. The explosives are all primed. Everything will go off at once. The stroke of midnight. A garden full of my guests safely outside by then and a garden full of witnesses to clear me of any wrongdoing. It's risky. But the insurance, it's a new light for Eleanor and me. Something a little less extravagant this time. That's what it was. He was so it did the, we did get a hint that people were cooking the books about how much money he had. Lucas. So he's going to blow the mansion for the insurance money. My Lucas. Please, he's a good man. Heavy. Sixpence, I'm afraid I rather like your finesse. I don't want to see this. You'd be very disappointed, old chap. You'd have done a much neater and smaller job. Oh, where am I? I think I must have left him in the other room. Yes, you turn your face away. How easy for you. How easy to look the other way. I am the one who has to keep everything together. Is it perfect? No. But this is what is right, the closest to right that we deserve. Please, he's a good man. My beautiful mansion. I will miss you so dearly. But you were also a gamble, and not one that has paid off. This house is not always winning, and you are a luxury I can no longer afford. It's time to cash in the check. What was that? Oh my god, no. Fire! So he killed everybody in the mansion. The theater, but how? The casino, no. No, no, no. The timer, did I do something wrong? No, how can this be happening? 
I have to get out. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Ellie! Ellie! No, no. Through the clock glass? Oh god, what have I done? Yup. So was he the fall in the very beginning of the game, like the body that fell outside every single time? Yeah, he survived that fall, so it was him. Interesting. So we were never able to cover that. A little bruised, somewhat broken, but he lived. And there you have it, Boone. This man set a fire in his own mansion for nothing more than an insurance. The guests in the mansion, they didn't truly die to giant spiders or demon fish or crushing cages. They died in the fire that this man set. So that's why there was fire all over the mansion when we went into that house. I have kept this mansion running, embellished the deaths, added some flair, but this is the man truly responsible for the deaths in this mansion. This isn't everything. You don't know. It is more than enough. We will wait, Boone. If you can figure out, if you wish to save this man, then go ahead. I will not stop you. So this guy's got both the world stand and jailhouse lock. Is this the clock? No, we're good. Now I could just hang out. He did this, Boone. Please, he's a good man over and over. Wait, am I not allowed to go here? Well... Guess I'll just hang out. And this is the very beginning of the day, so I can't reset. That's not gonna help me. But I can't go down there once the fire goes off. Oh, duh. I go down when he leaves the room and gets his stuff. So I gotta futz with something. This is a clever idea. Now's my chance to quickly look at stuff. A violin for practice. Sixpence is handiwork. Pieces have been taken from it. Damn. Damn. They really... I actually will restart the day one more time. They do not give you much time. Yeah, Dragon Ace, I'm gonna need to stop the explosions or... Do something before they start. Like I gotta, I gotta do something. Like the 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 game doesn't pause when I was reading those uh, those flavor text descriptions. So I'm gonna have to suck this one up. This is a clever puzzle though. It's just the one room because you know I can't follow him. I mean maybe I can. Maybe I can. No, but no, nah, I don't know if I can leave the. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I could run to the dynamite right now, you know? Like, I guess we'll see. <clears throat> so the Marquis isn't this malicious, you know, demon. He's just a royal screw-up. But it might not have been him, though. Like, what could have started the explosion? The Skull Man did say he was going to blow up the mansion, but obviously something happened that was out of his control. But what? Somebody messed him up. And no, that door is locked. I can't go that way. So it really is just this room. Casino operating at a loss. God damn, you have no time. That is oppressing though, like he's just running out of money. He is just in and out. He says heavy, but he just whipped those sticks the dynamite right out. Now I guess I'll go down again and see what I can do about that dynamite. All I have is a lighter. Like, what do I light it now? Do I blow the place up early? Like, that makes no sense. Yes, it was stupid, but there must be an end to it. Yeah, I can use an item on that dynamite. 
a Bible. The inscription's from me, and the statue is carved by Trinity. Let's do the stupidest thing in the world. No. Clockwork device. Really? Lucas! Now, here's a bizarre thought. Oh! When I reset time, I'll be with the dynamite in the next room. Oh, man, that's genius. I have a moving restart clock. Oh, get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's nuts! Oh, this game. And I can hide in the closet when the marquee comes in. Get the hell out of here. And I could even go into the next room. Wire cutters. Boop. Done. The tale of the sexy brutal. Wait, this wire is cut. Who? Wait, this isn't right. The timer. I made a mistake. This would have gone off early. My god. Boon. I'm not in control, by the way. I think we could forego having the masks chase you, Boon. There's no need for that anymore. Not here. So he could do that too. He could just turn that off. Lafcadio. What are you do what are you doing here? Please, you have to leave. This I can explain. Or rather, I don't imagine I need to. I'm so sorry, my old friend. I should have told you, but you can be rather proper, no? I'm going to burn this place down. You know I love this place. It's everything. But I love her more. We have a child on the way, you know? And this mansion, the costs, the sheer drain of it. I'm not the young, reckless gambler I used to be, Laffy. I thought you'd be proud. I've locked those demons up tight. No more chasing the high stakes for me. Although I will admit this plan was somewhat thrilling. But I timed it so that everything will detonate once everyone is safely outside. There is one of these devices in every... Hello! It's mirror time, baby. In every fireplace. And the fireplaces are all connected. But no one will be hurt. But then it's the darnest thing. This wire here was cut. And I just noticed a rather terrible mistake. I think if it hadn't been cut, then everything would have gone off early. I can't imagine what would have happened. You see? He never meant it. He never meant to hurt anyone. Please, please stop this torture. E Eleanor? Is that you? Ah. No, he did not intend. But he acted. And they died. They all died. He killed them, Boone. He killed everyone he ever cared about. His friends, his own wife, his unborn ch We don't deserve to be forgiven. They don't deserve to be forgotten. Don't you see, Boone? This is how I keep them alive. This party, this day, this part. whoa. This party, this day. That felt a little weird. I keep that agony fresh. I see their faces. I remember them. She would have us forgive ourselves. She would let us go. She would have you live. But I am not ready. I will never be ready. Please, Boone. Boone. Everything you see in this mansion, it's the memory of a broken man. Wow, this, this game is the plot of One Piece movie, like... Four or six. Like, this is straight up the plot of one of the One Piece movies. Except it was reliving a cool day over and over again. Reliving the nightmare of the night he murdered everyone dear to him. One terrible act that he has wished he could take back every second that he has lived since. There was only one man responsible for everything happening in this mansion. Lucas?
Lucas. And... Lucas. Look how old you have gotten, my love. It's time. So I was the Marquis. We must go to see him. Or am I? This freaking game. Now that's a scene. It's been more than 40 years, Lucas. You've punished yourself long enough. You almost died when you fell. Then it's been like you stayed alive just to make sure you suffered. You were hospitalized, near dead. You went to prison, but it still wasn't enough. You have suffered and missed us every day. We aren't here to forgive you, Lucas. You will never have that. We are gone, and we cannot say the words. You cannot ever know if we would say those words. But as much as you have hated yourself, you have always known one thing. In your heart of hearts, you know that I would not have wanted you to suffer forever. One day, enough would be enough. Today can be that day, Lucas, if you want. If you are ready. You don't have to forget. You only have to forgive yourself just enough to live. His very appearance is painful for me to look at, just as my appearance is painful for you. He is the king of this mansion. He is perhaps the purest glimpse into your soul, my love. Frail, ragged, alone, but beyond powerful. Enough rage and pain and grief to destroy and rebuild this mansion a hundred thousand times over. Trapped down here, watching his friends murdered over and over and over through these mirrors, he is king of this mansion but a puppet king. It's time to release him from this torment. It's almost like Am from I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. He's a quadriplegic god. Take your mask, Lucas. It will return every aspect of yourself. Then let us go. Let us all go. It doesn't mean you forget. I love you. So this is where the mirrors come into play. There is one other option. Walk away. Use the watch. Turn back time, let the party start again. We will all be here. Your friends will be here. Your mansion, your memories. You don't have to let them go. It is your choice. Hoo <laughs> Now, of course I could say yes, and that may or may not be a bad ending, not sure, but we're not going to restart the day. This place is yours, Lucas. It is horrible and broken and twisted. You don't have to be prisoner here. I loved you. I loved you so much and you loved me. I know you are sorry, I know it's not enough, but it is done. Let some of the pain go. Live your life. Goodbye, my love. really clever. Yeah, if this is all in my head, then I can do whatever the hell I want whenever I want, right? What a concept, so the game isn't supernatural. Yeah, undoing the gun... 
undoing the poison and the spider, undoing the fish. Right, the, uh, the record and the song. The electricity. The furnace. And the final bomb. Goodbye, my love. Whatever I am, I'm always here. Visit if you want, but don't stay too long. It's time to make new memories. Time to live the life you still have. Would I have gotten a dark ending if I'd reset time, or would I have just reset time? Time to move on, old man. Oh, interesting. So this is the real... Uh, cemetery. Yeah, that might be credits. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, we have a cool song, too. Yeah, Falcophon, that's a fair question. Yeah, can you imagine feeling that guilty that you relive this day over and over again? I mean, to this degree with all the torture stuff, that's over the top, but I absolutely believe at least imagining this day over and over again. I mean, like, you don't just forget that. Uh, Dragon Ace, New Game Plus Mask Powers? I don't know? Um, however, there is an extra ending you get from getting all 52 playing cards, so I want to try getting those. So I'm actually curious about that. Like, I, I want to see if I could find, um like a way to quickly get all the cards, or if I'm even able to load my old file. Although if I did that though, I think that I'm just stuck at the end, so like, eh. And I would also like to find the, uh, the locations of, uh, all of the invitations. I'm quite curious about that as well. Oh, wait a minute! Oh no, apparently I can free roam the place once I finish the game, so I can get the playing cards. That's very good news. And once again, I could free roam once I do the- Okay, so this would be a good opportunity to do that. I'm pretty happy about this. Oh, Seven Otaku Abstraction Games was involved with this, and they ported, uh, Danganronpa 1 and 2. That's great. Stream something a bit less weird next time? Yeah, I probably will. But, yeah, let, let's do this. Continue the game, right? Do, do I get free roam? Because if I do, then that's golden. Yeah, can I just do whatever I want now? And uh, here's here's the part that gets me. Can I check the cards? It pro- Finally. Hey there, uh, Neko Green Dragon. We're still playing. Now secrets have opened up. Yikes. Okay. The King in Red's Chamber. 
A, true, a room of true horror exists in the twisted dark heart of the mansion. An ancient man, his body broken and ravaged by the atrocities he has endured, hangs suspended in a chamber that forces breath into and out of his lungs. Surrounding him are seven mirrors, showing him the murders of the guests throughout the mansion. With every death, the man weeps tears of blood. When the tank is full, a nightmare engine rains the blood down over the mansion, starting the same hellish day all over again. He is the near mindless source of power that fuels the endless day of the sexy brutale. This is the throne room of... The King in Red. Secret Haven. Hidden away in the mansion gardens is the tiny cottage where the Marquis and his wife would spend their time together when not planning and organizing the hectic and draining schedule of the mansion. It was a solace for both of them, and the more time the Marquis spent there, the more he longed to retreat from the demands of the mansion and stress to spend more time with his wife, preparing for a new life as a growing family. It was... it is... I cannot go on. Room of Old Habits. You found me again, eh? You dared lock me away. I've missed you, old friend. I will rip you apart. The adventures we got up to together, you were mine. Don't you miss those days? Your rage and joy was nectar. Let's play around together. I will only need one. I know there's so much to think about, to catch up on. Give in. It's all so easy. Just deal the card. Deal the card. Spin the wheel. I will never let you leave. It'll be just like old times. Come closer. These chains really aren't necessary. Come closer. So that's like the dark gambling section. Sexy Brutal. Fire raging throughout the mansion. How did this come to be? Where is this? Can it be real? There must be a path through the flames, a way to fight past this hellish burning nightmare to a better place on the other side. That is what the storybooks teach us, surely. That past every great trial are the green fields of success and happiness. Then let us forge onwards. Let us push through the pain and the blind hope that somehow in some way a better world awaits the chapel. The Marquis was not a religious man, not in his youth at least, but his wife was, and the Marquis cherished her. He originally built the chapel as a gift for Eleanor, then over the years found himself spending more and more of his free moments in quiet contemplation here. Whenever he had a difficult decision to make, it was here that the Marquis would sit and think. He felt increasing guilt over the fact that he had also used the construction of the stained glass window as a particularly devious cover for one of his most closely guarded secrets. Planning Room the room is covered in sketches, diagrams, and notes, with a scale replica of the Sexy Brutal Mansion on a table. The model shows every fireplace in the mansion marked clearly with a flag. Pieces of clockwork mechanisms and volatile-looking substances are scattered around. It appears that the Marquis and Reginald Sixpence were collaborating on a secret project together. To what end? To what purpose? The Clock Tower. Welcome to my home, old friend, or should I say, our home? It feels good to finally be able to speak face to face. Well, the gold mask does somewhat get in the way, but we've always understood each other, haven't we? Thanos, no. I'm afraid it's me who has been leaving you. I? Who has been leaving you those little notes? It's always been me. I built this place, brick by brick, sweat, tears, and blood. I'm glad you're here, in a way. To see where it all began, or where it all ended. It can all be yours. It can all be ours. After all, what else is left? Old friend. Lafcadio Boone. In his youth, Lafcadio Boone was a gambler and a casino owner, much like the Marquis. But in his older years, he renounced his indulgent lifestyle and turned to religion. How the first two met is unclear, but over the years, they became firm friends, and Lafcadio has always been something of a guide and mentor to Lucas. When trying to cope with the pain and loss of his family, the pain that ultimately treated the mansion's never-ending loop, Lucas imagined himself as Lafcadio, drawing what little solace he could from his old friend's faith and strength. So there that is. Lucas Bonds a wild and erratic gambler, Lucas's addiction brought him to the brink of ruin and madness before fortune smiled on him, making him rich beyond his wildest dreams. He created the sexy brutal casino mansion, but as costs mounted and his priorities changed, he sought a way to escape, resulting in the criminal deaths of those he held dearest and destroying everything he was or dreamed of. Over the decades that passed, Lucas has relived the consequences over and over, unsure whether life or death in torment was his correct punishment. Perhaps now, finally. The manifest love in his wife's memory has allowed the old man some peace in his final days. Eleanor Bonds, the Red Dove Eleanor met Lucas through her uncle, Reginald Sixpence. Originally, she was enraptured by his flair and charm, but as the two fell in love, Lucas came to rely- Grew came to rely on her grace and judgment in almost all challenges they faced together. When Eleanor became pregnant, everything changed for Lucas, and he began to look for ways to provide a secure future for the both of them. Her death and that of their unborn child unmade Lucas's life. Their memory is pure agony to him, but he also knows that she would not want them to suffer forever. The events of the Sexy Brutal were born from the impossible conflict between these two states of mind. The Bloody Girl 
The Bloody Girl is the manifest memory of Lucas's wife, Eleanor. His wife brought purest joy to Lucas, but knowing that he caused her death is white-hot, impossible grief and agony. The Bloody Girl has been trapped in the mansion all the years that Lucas has tormented himself. To look upon her as torture, with every detail of her suffering impossible to forget, etched across her ever, ever, oh, every part of her face and body. But within her memory is the seed of forgiveness. Lucas knows deep down that she would still want him, one day, to be able to move on and live a life so not everything of worth was lost on that one terrible night. Deuteronomy Bound, the Gold Skull. The man in the Golden Skull Mask is the terrible aspect of Lucas that never wished wishes for him to forgive himself. In his mind, the mansion has been created to keep the tortured memories of everyone fresh and alive. In this way, Gold Skull believes that he honors them as best as he can by never allowing them to be forgotten and never allowing him, Lucas, the Marquis, to forgive himself and move on with his life. Gold Skull has ruled the mansion in Lucas's mind for decades, and only in the most recent of times has the love of Eleanor, as the Bloody Girl, made the tiniest crack in the nightmare prison he has created. Gold Skull's will shapes the mansion, but the raw power to impose his vision is drawn from a deeper, darker well, the King in Red. Damn, that is some serious business. Now, my question is, can I look up the cards, because, like, it just says 42 out of 52. Like, can I seriously not see which cards? Invitations found, I can see. Like, the guests. They're right here. I'm missing... Ah, rats. Well, it'll be easy enough to find them, because they're the guests who are not on this list. <laughs> So, let's see, Reginald, Sixpence, Clay, Trinity, Willow, so this will be Tequila. Okay, so in the main stage of the music room area, can I go there and can I, oh, can I actually warp between fireplaces, maybe? No, so how do I get out of here? Oh, it's just- it's just up here, right? Am I- Yeah, it's up two rooms. I really hope I have free reign of the mansion, though, because, like, I beat the game. I think it's just a matter of playing now. Right. And now that I have the ruby heart ring, I should be able to just go wherever I feel like. The problem is going to be the freaking playing cards, though. Alright, so the music room. Where was the music room? Was that it? I believe that was the music room, yeah. So I have a little ways to go to get there. But I can get there. Let's try this out. So I think the invitations are just for swag points. It's the playing cards that I actually want to hunt down, but I have to find a way to do it. And that's going to be a pickle. Just cruise. See ya. Alright. So the music room is just right past this door, right? The mirror over the gun? Yeah, I was wondering that, but I don't know if that counts. Oh, do I really have to wait for this to go down? Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's see if I could run in real quick. If I can get away with that. So... Access to... S no, 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 no. Tequila. Uh, where she sings, use the lighter on the candle. 
and speak with the ghost to the left. Yeah, okay, this should be an easy thing to get. Oh, damn it. Alright. Well, I'll wait for this guy to leave. That's right, I don't believe I had the lighter at this point. So I'll have to wait for this guy to just finish his piano playing, unfortunately. Oh, well. Gorgeous playing, however. thing. It's been a freaking hour. Leave the room, buddy. Uh, I know I could probably do the record thing, but he's just gonna kind of run out and grab it real quick. I wonder how the real Afcadio died? That's a good question. This freaking guy. And break for applause. It really is interesting, though, that it, you just make the deaths more and more cruel in order for you to suffer, so you feel guilty because you believe that you deserve to be punished. So the sadism is kind of like... It's just like self-punishment. Alright, so this is the part where... I run in. Do this. Talk to you. Settle down. We just need to wait. Oh, wow. Looking forward to this. Yeah, I haven't done the knowledge of this place floods your mind yet, so there's that too. Do I have to wait for Eleanor to die? Yeah, he's just looking forward to this. Alright, so let's do this. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Well, hello indeed. Came to observe the talent as well, have we? She is such a star. The plunging neckline, the heaving bosom. You can keep that, actually. The real thing is so much more alluring. There it is. Okay. So, got some new information. The guests, Tequila Bell. Even throughout her extremely modest upbringing, Tequila Bell had a truly extraordinary voice. The Marquis had long admired her as a performer and was staggered when he learned that she was the stepsister of Trinity Carrington. Since she was first invited, Tequila has attended and sung at every masked ball. Her usual accompanist is pianist Red Rockridge, but she and the Marquis would also practice together, sometimes long into the night. Although there was never any outward impropriety, these sessions were eventually called to a halt by the Marquis shortly after he met his wife. And the music rooms, Tequila Stage. The stage within the music room wing of the mansion features one of several delicate stained glass murals commissioned by the Marquis, designed by the architect genius Thanos Gorecki and created by master goldsmith Oram Runes. The Marquis created this stage room primarily as a gift to the singer Tequila Bell, who is regarded as a living national treasure due to her extraordinary voice and talent. Whenever Tequila visits the mansion, she has the room entirely at her disposal. She is often accompanied on the piano by Red Rockridge, ex-head croupier for the sexy brutal and an unusually gifted pianist. So, guests. I got Grayson Grayson, but I'm missing the other three. Well, one part should be easy. I need to go downstairs. Although, actually, while I'm here, because I'm apparently missing a whole bunch of stuff in music rooms, because I never had reason to come back here. Yup. This is actually really cool.
The band room was another practice room for any of the guests or entertainers at the mansion to make free use of. It was actually most popular with several members of staff who had their own full house club band that would frequently play during the mass balls each year. It was a little known secret that many members of the house staff were musicians who actually came to serve at the Sexy Brutale for the sole reason for gaining access to the treasure trove of instruments that the Marquis had accumulated. More valuable even than the instruments, however, is the opportunity to talk and learn from the extraordinary caliber of musicians who visit the mansion. Nothing cool here. God, this music's gorgeous. Nothing here. The actual stage, of course. I am going to want to go to the basement, too. The music's too good. I feel bad pausing it. The dressing room was created to allow Tequila and any other performers a private space where they could prepare for any shows, of which there were always many at the Sexy Brutale on any given evening. The area was originally another room for displaying instruments and other items from musical history, but these were all hastily stored and locked away in an adjacent storage room. A laundry chute allowed for changes of clothes to be quickly processed by staff, but in later years the room below was converted into an exotic butterfly house, and so the chute fell out of use entirely. It may, however, still be connected. Not that anyone would put anything. Down it. Of course. Man, this is nuts. There's there's no way the closet's gonna be a relevant thing to check. Oh wait a minute. Hey! Got a card! I guess I just missed that before. Oh no, it's almost midnight. Did I seriously never get this? Oh, because I didn't have the occasion to come back here. Ace of spades, baby. Why do I get the feeling I missed it? No. Okay. Instrument pool room. The Marquis liked to say he blew so hard at playing most instruments, he almost literally sucked. However, he was an excellent pianist and a general audiophile. When Eleanor sang, the Marquis would frequently accompany her, and playing together was one of their most cherished pastimes. The instrument pool is a shallow ornamental pond surrounded by stone replicas of instruments played by some of the couple's favorite artists, and in the cabinets are instruments owned by famous musicians from history. Every one of them is maintained and kept fully tuned. Any guest at the mansion who is happy to play for an audience is welcome to perform with any instrument they please. Oh man. Okay, so I'm looking for Red Rock Ridge, Orem Runes, Oh, wow. Getting, okay, getting Orm Runes' this thing is way hard. Actually, where... Where am I in relation to other things? I want to go, I think... That's the basement. Where were the guest rooms? Because this is all the music area, right? But then again, am I in the guest area right now? Because if I am... I'm going to want to hit up a clock soon. i got to find a clock. Yeah, good. I actually... Whoops. I actually want to hit a clock. Oh, there's this. Let's do that real quick. Willow's Blue Room. The Mar- Oops. My headphones. The, uh... The Marquis met Willow when he traveled to the deep swamps of the south, looking for a truly special gift for his wife, a mythical juju guppy. He found Willow selling antiques in a tiny shop where every piece on display was more macabre and fantastical than the last. 
as if she had a second sight that allowed her to see the stories behind the artifacts. Willow now searches out unique and misunderstood curios for the Marquis to display in his mansion, and has been given her own room to stay in when she returns each time from her travels. This year, Willow was horrified to learn the Marquis has finally tracked down a special gift and is keeping it in the mansion. So there are four rooms I'm missing, but a uh, clock, clock, clock. Is that it? Is it just below me and around? I think that is. I need to hurry and get there. Yeah, the Hungry Charm, I'm actually gonna want that. Believe it or not, I actually want the Hungry Charm. Boom. Oh, you see the, the bloody rain is starting? That's clever. Alright, so... Let's restart the day. Believe it or not, I actually need the Hungry Charm in order to uh, get one of the invitations, which is ridiculous. So getting the last of the invitations should be relatively easy, but I'm going to then want to just give a once over to the various rooms to make that happen. For the cards, because the cards are going to be uh, the game enders. Okay, so the Hungry Charm is fed once. And the hungry oh hey and the hungry charm is fed twice right and new info master aquarium Realizing that aquariums were an excellent way both to please his wife and show off to his guests the marquee wanted to collect only the rarest of fish the Devil's Hole Pupfish is the tiny breed of fish existing solely in one's muddy hole, one muddy hole, in one particular desert. Once every hundred years, a bizarre mutation will manifest and one will grow to an enormous size and display extraordinary coloring. These are known as the Devil's Monarchs. Lucas obtained a government license to own and preserve one of these, much to his wife's delight. However, this is still not quite the rarest or most unusual creature kept in the mansion. No kidding. I wouldn't have picked this, right? Is there a card in here? Boom, King of Spades. All right, we're moving, we're moving. So I have the Hungry Charm. Uh, what a, oh, okay, Grinmaw Deep Demon. Old as stones, Grinmaw is the true form hiding behind the tiny juju guppy that the Marquis brought for his wife as a gift. Bought? Well, I guess both. Completely unaware that the legends were real. One of the true voodoo demons of the deep, Grinmaw resembles a gigantic anglerfish with a tiny colorful guppy as the lure on the end of his tether. Only those with a second sight can see Grinmaw's true form, but he delights in whispering madness to any who will listen. Willow knew what was really in the tank in the secret chamber and created special candles that would reveal him for a confrontation, but once unmasked, he proved to be more powerful than she could have Im uh, imagined. So there's a painting room. And there's, I have no idea, an unknown power is needed to unlock this information. So I gotta just scan the rooms and use my mask. For the Aurum runes... Yeah, that's fine. So I'll be able to do that. And then Red and, Ra Red and Thanos should be easy to do. I just have to actually do it. So, yeah. The good news about the playing cards, though, is if I explore all the rooms, it looks like the playing cards are required to unlock some room descriptions. So I at least have that going for me. So I'm clearly missing two rooms here, one of which I need to use my power in, and the other... Well, they both say an unknown power is needed. So I don't know. In any case, I guess I'll just go looking around the various rooms and use my powers, or... Well, yeah, use various powers, really. Here's one. I don't know if a card's in here, but, you know, got something, right? Eleanor's Painting Room. A talented artist, Eleanor loved to paint and sculpt. She was, as Lucas liked to say, fond of making a mess. To create her studio here, Eleanor stripped and repainted every inch of the walls by hand, making it forever her own. 
The many paintings across the mansion are almost exclusively Eleanor's works. She loved to adapt existing styles and put a flippant or unsettling twist on them. The Marquis, ever fond of secrets, sealed off the room behind the studio and installed a hidden door behind one of the paintings to create a luxurious chamber for his wife. So I'm missing one room, but which room, right? And I doubt it's, I doubt it's the super secret room, because that's the secret chamber. We have that already. And we have the hungry lock as well. That's the painting room. Willow herself is in there. I guess I'll do a loop around. This is getting interesting. Now that I have a degree of where to go, also I am going to go downstairs. No, this isn't where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the secret place to the to the bar. Was there another staircase around here? I forgot. Yes. Okay. And this was the music area. I do not want to go there. I've already explored that stuff. And here... I will eventually go left, but first I'll go down. Bingo. That covers this area, Tequila's room. Tequila Bell and Willow Blue always had a room reserved for them when they visited the mansion. Despite the Marquis's best efforts, Tequila never wanted any particular luxury lavished on her. She only needed a place to sleep and access to the practice stage. But this year, she's been a little disappointed by a patch of rising damp in her room. And to top it off, she hears noises at night. It sounds like dark secrets whispered in her ear, making it hard for her to sleep or dream without images of terrible visions coming at her from deep, cold places. Jeez. The bar we need, the casino we need, the guests we need. Chapel's done. Gardens. Basement is not done. Heaven and Hell? Done. Theater? Not done. Music? Done. Guest rooms. Done. Okay, this this feels a little better. Now I have a sense, a vague sense of where to go, right? God, this place is gorgeous. So, if all goes well, I should be able to find the cards simply by knowing which rooms I have not yet unlocked. Yeah, I hope I'm doing this right. Jeez. Oh, there's the mirror. Good, and here are some stairs, and there's the snake, so I think I'm going to the bar, which is surprisingly where I need to go for one of the things I'm looking for, which is a little weird, but we'll get to that shortly. Oh, wait a minute, that, that was a secret exit, though, wasn't it? This doesn't take me to the bar. The bar is on the opposite side, isn't it? Yeah, the bar is way over there. However, I can still make this work. Everything's a freaking conspiracy. God, like I have so many secret areas within secret areas. Just to give myself a little checkpoint. Yeah, we're back in the mansion proper now, right? Yeah. So, how do I get out of here? How do I get out here? I 
Ah, oh, god, everything is a nuisance. And I definitely want to hold on to my Hungry Charm. Oh, this does let me out. Marvelous. And we got this going on. Yeah, uh, Dragon Ace, the ending was really satisfying in its own way. Okay, the bar is just like next door, right? Almost. The show will start in one hour, that's actually perfect. Really with this? I have to wait for you to leave? Uh. Oh good, this is perfect. You coming, buddy? Good. Excuse me. Alright, now things get a little weird, right? Uh, have a good night, Fox Fun. Alright, this is where things get a little bizarre. So I enter that, that super secret bar, right? Now in here... There it is. Oh. Sure, I'll take this too. Dance hall. The Marquis considered himself an audio pioneer who loved to experience and experiment with a truly eclectic range of music. By mixing the old with the new, he threw parties that offered something truly different for his guests. Nothing brought him more joy than seeing new and exciting dances created in order to keep up with the fresh sounds played in this dance hall. The Marquis liked to say that his balls were greatly admired by high society, a comment for which he would usually be sharply rebuked by his wife. Great. So I'm missing the theater? The casino. Is that it? The theater and the casino? And the basement. Not bad. And I'll do the basement last. We, we might actually have this. In any case... This is where the solution's a little bizarre. Are you the one? No. Are you the one? Yeah, that's quite the gross skull thing you have there. He just takes my hungry charm. Let's do a trade for this thing I, uh, found. And the large gentleman who was passing through here. Got his invitation. Like, how are you going to figure that out? Uh, so, guess. That was Orum. Orum Runes is descended from a family of master goldsmiths. As a younger man, Orum works tirelessly in the forges, smelting with methods of his own devising. He created hardened steels for the most challenging industrial designs, as well as inventing delicate filigree techniques no one could match. Fumes from a particularly demanding project aggravated the dormant medical condition, but Orum was able to create a specialized welding mask to monitor his heart rate. Orum is responsible for many of the most exquisite pieces of art and engineering throughout the mansion. We're cruising. We're, we're, we're almost done with these guests. So, at this point, I want to go to the theater. Where is the theater in relation to me? Or, it was, it was downstairs, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, actually, yeah, where was the theater? It was downstairs, but how do I get... It wasn't the basement. That's the bar. This should be obvious. Because the basement is the, like, end game. It's not going to be where the theater is. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. There. So, who died? It was Gray, right? It was Grayson Grayson? Those are employees. That's Orum. Well, Orum we'll do with later. They're by the furnace. No one's in the basement. Oh, 
Oh, was that? Oh, that's the theater. Okay. So where am I in relation to that? Oh, I, I actually do want to go back in the, the weird bar. Oh, excuse me. All right. Oh, may yeah, maybe the ghost gives you a hint if you talk to him. Yeah, you might be right for how to give him that the hungry charm. Maybe. Yeah, it came full circle now. So this is the theater area, I believe. Yep, Theater Brutale. Theater waiting room. Created to allow visitors to the Theater Brutale an area to relax and prepare for the show. The ticket booth is purely for creating souvenirs. No guest of the mansion ever paid for an event, despite some of the most exotic and unique shows in the world going on stage here. In recent years, the Marquis was increasingly impressed with an, with an immersive theater and was even planning some shows that would potentially incorporate the entire mansion and take place over hours, or even an entire day. And then there's two more things I need to figure out. Otherwise... Yeah, stage is just up ahead, right? Yeah, so he's trapped. But also there's this. <laughs> Theater Brutale. One of the jewels on the crown of the sexy Brutale. It has hosted countless plays and featured some of the most extravagant and involved sets ever created. The Marquis has always been a particular fan of escapology, and the current setup on the stage is for a particularly dramatic but fairly simple death-defying feat. Even though it's meticulously rehearsed, the spikes and electricity involved are very real. In addition to his love for traditional plays and acts of escapism, the Marquis was also increasingly interested in immersive theater, and one day wanted to plan an interactive event that would include the entire mansion. Yeah, about that. And then there's the what chamber? The Marquis chamber? Is that what that says? Oh wait. Oh, it directly says find this playing card. So that's what it is. So we do have a hint. Does the ghost who wants a novel have something? Yeah, I believe he gave it to me, actually. Okay, now I just gotta check other rooms around here and wait for uh, these guys to die, as morbid as that is. So I guess I'll just get on that. Nothing to check here. There is a corner area here, I'll just... But it says find the playing card, though. Where's the playing card? How do I... Or is it stuff like this, where you use the powers? Like, there's gotta be something that I use my powers for. Or something to investigate. Actually, speaking of investigate... Okay, nope. This could get frustrating. Although, actually, it just tells me to find the Queen of Clubs, right? So, why don't I find the, uh... Yeah, the Queen of Clubs... Oh, is in the casino, so I'll have to just... It's too bad for me. Oh, wait a minute. Did they die? Yeah, okay, he's gonna die soon. Dark. Alright, so now he's dead. Just kidding, he's not dead. Man, this is nuts. How? Oh, an employee's here? God, that's freaking dark. He's exactly as he should be. Ugh. That's so bad. I gotta wait for this to be over so I can uh, get my invitation, though. There we go. That's so awful. Enormous man, something in his pocket. Oh, we're uh, ending the, the time loop. Well... There's one more invitation I'll have to get later, but, uh, brochure, theater, oh yeah, it was an invitation. Red Rock Rage. 
Though his brother Clay was the prize fighter in the family, it was never in dispute that Red was simply in a different league when it came to sheer physical power. But Red never had any interest in conflict. His skillful musician's hands and imposing stature made helped make him an extraordinary and popular hand croupier at the sexu uh, Sexy Brutal. At the party this year, he is accompanying Grayson Grayson on his search for one of the Marquis's treasures. Red might not approve of the plan, but he would follow Grayson to the ends of this world. And the next. So I gotta check the casino. And the- is, is that it? The casino in the basement? Is that really it? And the theater. Oh, but for the theater I have to go to the casino anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, I gotta go to the casino. Okay. Restart the day. We're actually doing this. We're doing this, for real. There are still a bunch of other playing cards I gotta find though, that makes me a little nervous. Like, where are they supposed to be? Like, is, th is there a way to check playing cards and I just don't know it? Because I don't know. Anyway, the casino, I'll just run over there and hit up a clock. So, how do I do that again? I'm way over here now. Down, right... Yeah, alright. I'll do the basement last. So is there anything to check in this little side room just while I'm here? No time for that now. Oh, we left. But that was a minor room anyway. It's fine. Yeah, what a gorgeous area. Yeah, we're good. Alright, casino time. Alright, first things first. Reset. Well, not reset, but checkpoint. Now, about that casino. Yeah, that was all this area. And I don't think I did much checking of the casino with, uh, without, or with my special powers. God, it is crazy how good this music is. Checkpoint one more time. Okay, so... Yeah, pretty much it's this corner, right? Hey, this looks like a memory room, right? No? Okay. Nuts. That'll be a problem. When does he die? You know what? Let's just cheat. There, he's probably dead now. Oh, look at your save file as, like, a text file. Oh, that sucks. And I'm playing this on PS4, so that's not an option. That's freaking lame. Really? You're still alive. Glad I didn't wait. And is there any way of passing through? I can go around and look at other stuff while waiting. So that's fine. Are you a memory room? No? Okay. I could go around to the bottom. Now there's three places to check. One of them is the big room, one of them is... Yeah, okay. Well, this is a dead end room, I believe, so let's check it out. God, this music is way too good. Yeah, 
him, so he'll probably die soon. I can, uh, not that I need to check his body, I just want to go in that room. Oh, hello. Here's something I surely did not open. Are you the Queen of Clubs? Because if so, then that just gives me that theater description. Boom, we're done. Alright, so... Theater. The Marquis' Chamber. The Marquis had several offices that he used throughout the mansion, but his favorite was this room located close to the Theater Brutal. He was always looking for new and interesting shows to host, building many bespoke stages along with his architect, Thanos Goreki, for one-off performances. In recent years, much of the original furniture from the room has been relocated, but there are still many important personal touches to the room and secrets known only to the Marquis, or those very close to him. It was also believed that this room was where he kept some of his most famous and important personal artifacts and treasures. So it's just the basement and the casino. And the guest, but the last guest I'll deal with at the basement anyway, that's fine. Actually, not good. I, um... Oh, was that? Oh, that was the, the stage performance, right? Yeah, you're still alive? Damn, dude. Uh, celebration is shot. Woo! So this is where he dies. God damn. Amazing timing for that music, by the way. Boom, there it is. A well-deserved victory, sir. Oh my god. Alright, brochure. Casino Center. The most famous game of cards ever held of the Sexy Brutal was between Alexander Minsky, the Cruel, a Russian diamond magnate, and Big Mac Rockefeller, a Texan oil baron. Cameras were installed to show the game, ostensibly for the other guests' enjoyment, but also to prevent cheating on the part of either of those two notorious liars. In later years, cameras were installed throughout the rest of the casino so that any game or room could be shown on the monitor. The original game ended, by the way, in either a win or a loss, but rather in a fist fight, which saw both men disbarred from the casino for a year. Jesus. So all that's left is the basement, but I have to be missing cards. I need the Ace of Hearts. I need the Jack of Hearts. How many cards do I have, actually? I'm missing six, though. Like, six. What the hell are they? Where would they be? Oof. Jack of hearts and ace of hearts. Well, I know I'm missing those. Thanks. I mean, I guess I could just run around the casino and see if there's any weird stuff I can use powers on. But, like, come on now. I don't think I have many options with that. It's really frustrating, actually. It's that it's really seems like an oversight that I can't check the uh, the cards. This is the spider room, but I don't think there's going to be any weird thing to find in here with powers. Well, I got that anyway. How did I not have this before? What, what was this room? What did I miss? The casino again? I missed the butterfly house, I guess? Okay, I'm sorry. The Marquis held a particular fascination with exotic, colorful, and above all, venomous creatures. He created this tropical room to house some of his most beautiful and dangerous specimens. In addition to using their toxins to flavor and spice the drinks he served at the mansion, a practice which thrilled and delighted as many guests as it horrified, he enjoyed nothing more than walking through this room, knowing that a careless step or misplaced touch could end his life. He kept the room safe under lock and key, but there were whispered rumors among the staff of a horrific creature growing unchecked in the sweltering darkness. Yeah, there's nothing for me here. The garden of the garden house? That is a question. Like, what I, th what I think I want to do is, I'm just looking up a guide for where the cards are, and if there's something where it doesn't just say, oh, it's lying around, then 
I get the feeling that I like I've picked those up. Mansion grounds, King of Diamonds. Didn't I get that? I talked to the ghost. Yeah, I think I got those. The mansion grounds. I think I got that. It's really frustrating. What a pain. So, the casino. I'm pretty sure I, I must have gotten that. <clears throat> um, in the casino, in the room to the left, can be found... Okay, okay. To the southwest of the surveillance room, we used to solve the second murder. Now we're talking. Oh, it must have been in here and I just missed it. That that must be it. I must have missed a spot there. So I'll I'll go run in and get that. That's fine. Okay, I have a plan now. For at least one card. There's apparently a glass urn I didn't scream at. And it was just uh I'll go all the way across. Most vexatious. God, this music's so good though. And it was all the way south? Yes. Okay, this is good. So I got this, but I didn't keep looking. That was my problem. Oh, I just- there's just one lying there. Jeez, I missed that apparently. How embarrassing. How did I miss that? Well, that's good. That covers one thing. Here's what I missed. That feels better. Eight hearts. That's good. That was weird. Okay, so the glass are in the first of the two secret rooms to the north of what's your poison. I think I got that, but I'll check it anyway. This is such a royal pain. I can't believe I just missed a card though, that's, that's disturbing. Like you gotta really check every item in the game, apparently. This camera should drop one, but I think I already did that, right? Must have gotten that one already. The bar. North and west. And then. Simply north again into the bar. It's fine. So this is a glass urn, but I am pretty sure I dealt with that already. Oh, right. I have to spawn the ghost first. Whoops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this card already, but I'll check. Yeah, we're golden. Um, just on the ground inside the bar room, spike chest, on the floor, on the floor, oh this might be interesting, alright let's reset the day, there's a, there's a timed card that I may or may not have gotten. So here's something there's a chance I might have missed. Because it makes no damn sense. Oh wait, no, 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 I got that one. That was the one that was in that flower base or whatever. 
Okay, so guest rooms. On the floor, in the spike chest, behind the top of the stairs leading to the friendly casino to the guest rooms? Huh. Where are the stairs doing that? Is that is that it? Well, I can make my way over there anyway. Yeah, this game is getting complicated. And the basement probably has stuff for me too. I'll just I'll deal with that later. I want to cover this stuff right now. This is frustrating. Yeah, there was a time, Dragon Ace, there was a timed card, like the card that I picked up from the fireplace. Like, once the person lights a fire in the fireplace, then it's too late. Was this where one of the cards was supposed to be? It was just behind the top of the stairs, leading from the casino to the guest rooms. Okay. Man, looking like I just got it already. Guest room should be good then. Music room, Ace of Spades, I know I got that. Uh, in the small storage room, the dressing room, I got that. Queen of Spades. In the corner next to the small stage. Eh, I'll check it. I'm right there anyway. Here comes that Philistine. They say go ahead, but I can't get through. What the hell is this? Oh, thank you guys, jeez. Okay, so it says... On the corner next to the small stage? It says in the music room to the left of the three ghosts. I must have gotten it already. Okay. Examining the costume rack where Tequila Bell ends up dying, I'm pretty sure I got that. Like the dressing room area, pretty sure I got that. There's an urn, which I almost certainly do not need to deal with, but we'll check it anyway. Got the costume rack thing. All right, there's the theater brutal on the floor in the backstage hallway. Whoops. All right, now let me go to the theater. Where was the theater again in relation to where I am? Downstairs, certainly. Well, we're, we're, we're covering all the rounds. We got this. Figuring it out piece by piece. I hope I'm not missing anything. Theater. Yeah, it was just up there. All right, good. I still don't know what the key... Oh, I do. Oh, the, oh, that's the key of old habits. It's for the secret room with the cards. I get it now. I got it. I'll have to remember that. All right. So, theater brutal. Uh, backstage hallway. I would imagine I'd have found that already. A glass urn in the southeastern room. Okay. Maybe that's it here. And here's the thing I could pick too. I don't know if I did that. Looks like I did. Alright, too bad. Here's something I almost certainly took care of already. In a fireplace in the southwestern room. Alright, so I'll check the backstage hallway just because I'm right here, but I'm not expecting to find anything here. This music is so good.
Oh, that's right. Backstage hallway is just over here. And surprise, surprise, I don't see anything. Keep on going. And the fireplace. Yeah, nope. Okay, that leaves the library. How do I get to the library again? That was through this way, wasn't it? I think this was the library. There's that weird secret area stuff. Yeah, I am doing this right, I think. Yeah, I just gotta work my way around. It's a pain. Oh, that sounds like the show's getting started. Good, here's the bar. And now I can move across the mansion? No, I gotta go back down and around. How frustrating. But I would like to figure this out. I also have to remember the key of old habits, it's a bit tricky. That'll cover for me for a little while. I, Unless that's just the same clock. No, it can't be the same clock because it worked. I have no reason to go up there. I'll go across to the library, I hope. Give myself another little head start. Is this getting complicated yet, by the way? There's a question. Oh yeah, now you can listen to the, the soundtrack and those spoilers. Yeah, that's marvelous. Um, the library. It looks like it just cut across. But this is kind of the heaven and hell staircase area though, isn't it? Wasn't the library near here, though? That's upper floors. I think I'm, like, right on top of it. Yeah, here's the library. So, in a desk along the secret passage corridor. So, uh... No. Speaking with the ghost, you'll need the will second sight out. I'm just talking to a ghost, I'm pretty sure I did that. On the floor. Why in the world is this locked? It's just locked. That's a pain in the ass. Because that means I can't get to the actual library. Oh, but I can get around, it's just a slight nuisance. Yeah, that 
guys I'm helping. Uh, the floor on the upstairs room that you found the winding keys. There's a bookshelf in the top right corner of the room with a locked door leading to the library proper. Yeah. That ain't really helping. I guess I'll go back to the heaven and hell stair. Let's reset. And the basement, to be fair, it does look like there's a bunch of stuff. Which makes me feel a little bit better. And the basement has the last guest invitation anyway, so that's also something. Did I break the chandelier? Yeah, that was required. I already took care of that. I really hope I do this right, because it's going to be very frustrating to just scan the entire game. I don't feel like doing that. Uh, basement is going to be my next stop, I guess. How do I... There's the lift, right? Can I just take that lift down there? Yeah, I'll have to sneak past uh, an employee, but that's fine. Like, please tell- uh, can I really just not use the elevator? Uh, how do I get to the basement easily, then? That's a major nuisance. I remember I was able to leave the basement and go to... Uh, how did I leave the basement though? Where did it take... Where did I go from the basement? That's a major pain. Like, there was that ladder, but where did that ladder take me to? Damn, how did I get to the... Uh, not basement? That's really frustrating. I do not remember how I got out of the basement. I mean, I do, but I don't remember where the ladder took me from the basement. Um, damn. Because I do remember I was just hanging out, like, at, and in the regular uh, mansion after that. Like, is there anywhere on the map that has a ladder? That's my question. Because wasn't it around here somewhere? I thought it might have been. Is it like up there? It wasn't in the library though, was it? Ah, uh, this is a pickle. The room behind the bar that wasn't the dance room, the secret area? It may very well have been. I guess I could check there. Pain in my ass. Alright, fine. Uh, so irritating. I forgot if I was able to just open the bar door, but we'll try. Great, Dragon Ace. Thank you very much. If that's the case, then this is going to make my life wet. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. That saves me some time. Alright, now where are the cards, if I can find them? And also, the last guest thing is here. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. So... Let's check around the basement, I guess.
Oh, I actually need the mirror walk to get a card, too. It's lying in the middle of the northern glass walkway in the basement area. Wait, where's this? Wait, I'm not just, like, stuck in this little... No, I might be good. Okay, good, it's the other way. We're good. Scare me for a second there. <clears throat> so I need the mirror walk. That's one thing. Just gotta find a place to use it. There's a spike chest, but I'm reasonably sure I've opened this already. Guess we'll check. Yep. Man, this place is just long to navigate. Yeah, kitchen area. Oh, right. Well, that's irrelevant now, but cool. <sighs> yeah, now we're here. Good. Where is the clock? It's near... Oh, it's just right here. This isn't the clock, but this is Mirror Walk. Man, that's cool. That is so cool. Finding Forever. You're damn right. Where even am I? Oh my god, I'm actually in a new area. Because now we're at the... Uh, where the employees are. That's crazy. There you go. 4-0 clubs, baby. It's so weird to actually be up here. So weird. Too bad there's- oh! Okay, Jacko hearts. The Broken Mask Room. A twisted insane statue stands in the middle of the room. Its purpose is unclear, as if it were crafted by a madman with only the most tentative grasp on form, function, or meaning and placed here out of sight and mind. Above it is a glass walkway, a series of tunnels that appear to connect rooms throughout the mansion in a secret, unknowable way. What is this place? Who walks down here in the dark? I still need the Ace of Hearts. This freaking game. I'll have to wait for you. Oh, perfect. Too bad there's nothing to check in here, though. And they all just creepily stand there? That's really disturbing. But that's not part of the map, though. How many cards am I missing, by the way? Oh my god, two. It's so painfully close, and I know that one of them is the Ace of Hearts. And the funny thing is, it's actually in the, the card room. I just somehow missed that, because I'm a fool. Oh, wait, is this... Have I been in here? I guess I have. Too bad. I'm still gonna hit up mirrors, though. Because now I gotta see where they lead. This freaking game.
We're so close. Wait, did that guy come from the mirror? That's creepy. Anyway, I'll warp through that, I guess. And it's 8 p.m. I am gonna wanna hit up my entry point before this is done. I'm just in the casino. It feels so weird to be here. This freaking game. I'm gonna want to go back down to the regular basement though once this is over. And here's the library. How useful. Okay, let's go back down to regular basement area. God, this is painful. I'm so close. Theater Brutal. Have I- what? The chest is an ornament? Have I been in here? I guess I must have, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, I can look where the mirrors go? That's crazy! Alright. And then this was just down another path. Yeah, I'm not going that way. There isn't a car here, is there? Wow. That audio. Holy crap. Alright, basement. It's almost- it's 10 o'clock. Where was my entry point to the basement? There. Okay, I am gonna want to remember this. Okay, and it is 11 o'clock. I want to wait just a little longer. We're getting close. Two left, and yeah, I know where one of them is. There we go. The burned body of Orum. Got his invitation. The gang's all here. You're damn right. Thanos. Oh, not Orum. Thanos. Master architect Thanos Gorecki is one of the great minds behind some of the most ingenious features of the sexy brutal. He and many of the other guests of the mansion have worked together over the years to create hidden features or works of art throughout the building. His knowledge of the mansion is unparalleled, but even he is not privy to all the Marquis's secrets, and something has been troubling him about the behavior of the staff. Thanos has attempted to leverage his knowledge of little-known pathways to get to the truth, but it has not worked out as he would hope. I would say maybe as he would have hoped, I guess. So that's good. That covers the invitations. And now we can... Right, we can reset. So again, I promise you I know where one of the cards is. It's the other that bothers me. I hope to God it's in the basement. So we're here, we're through there, yeah let's keep going straight. So frustrating. And I can't go in there either. That bugs me. I actually made the bridge and... 
There's the Ace of Hearts. Does this actually show me which cards I have? Like, it looks like it shows me some. That's actually really cool. But now the question is, where's the last card? On the floor. Southwestern room with the mirror walk. Record player, I got it. Yeah, out of luck. Oh well, yeah, this is gonna be it, I think. But, this was definitely fun, and the game kicks ass. I'll see if maybe I can find the card at some later point, but this is, this is what I got for now. So thank you very much for attending the stream, and have a wonderful night. Well, here we are. I apologize for not doing this during the stream, but where I'm running around in circles here is where the last card was. It's in the, uh, the Heaven and Hell staircase. So now that we have all of the cards, what I'm going to do is go to the end of the game. So I just need to find my way over to the casino. So I believe that is to the... Oh, well, let's get out of there immediately. It's to the, uh, the east, so that'll be easy enough. And goodbye. Moving right along. At least this part of the trip is pretty easy. We're going to finally make our way to the key of old habits. I'm just giving myself a quick uh, checkpoint here. And it's already 5 o'clock, so let's restart the day. There we go. This will easily give us all the time we need. Always takes a while to stand up, though. But this might be the last time we see that announcement about seeing in the theater. Yeah, I wish I were less competent. Anyway, where where is this thing? It's uh... that's right. It's through that narrow hallway. Okay, I'm gonna have to make my way east and then north and lower right. Yeah, yeah, I got that. That's fine. Here's the entrance of the casino. And do these statue Runes? Uh, that might be nothing. Actually, wait a minute, you know what? No, I I'm just real quick gonna check the other statue just in case. And then just welcome get Alright, moving on. And the, the northern room, okay. This should just about be it. There's just the uh, the hallway to navigate. And there we are. And it is the key of old habits. Yes. I uh, know. Where do I use it? Uh, Karen didn't Yeah. Yeah, I don't need to be in there. Okay, at this point, I believe I know where to go. We need to double back around. Finding out where to use the key of old habits is a little bit weird. I had to look this one up. Ignore them. Yeah, this is probably it, right? This is a locked door. And we got the key prompt. But it just leads to the bar, though? Like, what? It works, it takes the key. Got the trophy. Whoa. Yeah, I, I just platinum the game, but what? The hell? There are enormous chains around the creature's wrist securing the playing table. Wow, so it's like being locked into the, the gambling? Is that what that is? Grown. So he's here now. You want to play cards. I want to play cards. I know a card game you can play. Blackjack! You love blackjack. I love blackjack. 
but I lost my cards. They stole my cards. Get my cards and we can play. I know they're here. You will want the prize. I'll pretend there's a prize. So you want the cards. Please get my cards. Is that it? Is that just like a hint for the plot? Or does that... Do I need... There. Ah, Lucas, I've been so lonely. You brought me all my cards. You know, there was always another option. You didn't need to choose. You could have chosen not to choose. Gold Skull. Bloody Girl. Red King. Staff. Guests. Ha! Forget them. Forget the pain and suffering. Come back to me. Forget them all. Just play, Boone. Lose yourself in the game. I will take care of you. I gave you this mansion. I will help you. I loved you long before any of them, and you loved me. Let me help you. Just take a card. That is dark. That, that bad end. Yeah, that was, that was bad end, right? Because we, we just reset, so like... Wait. Something, something's a little... Yeah, wow, we're not done. And it looks like there's only one exit. I, ca I can't interact with the clock. Yeah, no, I have to go through the door. How much you want to bet this is like... Everything is happy, which makes it an even darker ending because we're losing ourselves. That's going to be really twisted. Yeah. Oh, wow. Pretty sprightly, eh, Boone? Reckon you could match this. <laughs> I doubt it, old friend. Jeez. I'm so happy to be here, Lafcadio. I get the feeling that it's somehow you're doing. Heh, <laughs> catty old boy. Get down with your bad self. Don't tease. It feels good to cut loose, though. Did you ever head down that creepy elevator, man? Seems like we were kind of confused and worried about Lucas, but look at how well this all turned out. Laffy, well, if it ain't a relief to let someone else handle the music and just let my hair down. You see this man move? I gotta watch my heart rate, but you also gotta live, man. I'm, I'm, I'm doing them last. Haha, ha, Lafcadio, it took me an age to learn this. Gray and I have been working hard. Thank you again for helping me to save him. Maybe one day I'll tell him... Ha, <laughs> never mind. Boo, you sly old dog. Come join in. I can't believe the Marquis was keeping the Moloch egg from me the whole time. Ah, Lafcadio, what a party. I hardly know what to do with myself. You know, I can't even remember why I was so worried about a little fish. This is good. It feels good to be here. Yeah, Lafcadio, isn't this perfect? What more could any of us want? Thank you so much. We don't have to think of what's next. There's just now. Just this moment forever and ever. Yeah, that's really, that's really twisted. By being a happy ending, this is a sadder ending because we're just drowning ourselves in not alcohol, but in gambling. We're like just running from our, our responsibility. I can break this. Are we gonna go to like the mansion grounds? Like what is even gonna be there? No, that's it. Bad end. That is really, really dark. I mean, I, I do appreciate that this can only be accessed after beating the game because I think there were some cards that were inaccessible in a first playthrough, like those mirror walk cards and possibly the chapel. I'm kind of hazy on that bit, but the mirror walk cards, I think, uh, were only accessible in a new game plus. I think I'll stick with the original ending, thanks, where we still hate ourselves, but we're willing to at least attempt to move on with our lives. With this, we just run away and gamble our problems away and just try to pretend that nothing's wrong, and that is downright disturbing. That's like, that's the easy way out, but it's artificial happiness. That is, that that, that is a, a heavy ending. It reminds me of an ending in Corpse Party Blood Drive. 
a wrong end, where you're hanging out with your friends and having a good time, and then the game shows that they're actually all just dead bodies, but you're still just going around chatting to no one. It, uh, this reminds me of that. Like you're just pretending all your friends are still here. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, 100%. We did it. So, once again, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been a blast. Have a wonderful night.